Hey Cannon Crew, welcome back to another freaking video. If you are new to this channel, please like, comment, share, subscribe, join the Cannon family. Also, please go follow myself and Kayla on social media and go subscribe to her personal channel. All of that information will be in the description box below. I'm glad to be back on the Cam Cannon Crew. I'm so sorry. I've just been busy with work and my relationship and my kids and just life stuff. I've just been trying to focus on all of that. And once all of that is happy and everything is good with that, then, you know, I can just get back to the swing of things of posting videos. I mean, I, I still will post videos, but I also have to give the most important people in my life attention, which is my daughters, my family, and my man. So I have to give a lot of attention to that. And, you know, and I just want to be able to... Basically, you know how when people say take care of home first, I need to take care of home first and then focus on everything that I got going on. It's not saying that I'm not going to post for you guys anymore, but I, because I will, I just have to find the time because like once I get home from work, I'll be exhausted and I don't want to do nothing but relax, get on my phone and watch my shows and talk to my man. So that's, you know, and deal with my kids. Um, but with all that being said, I'm kind of rumbling on. Um, I want to jump right into the video and just let you guys know what the video is technically about. The video is technically about um, just sending a message to my daughter. Um, as you all know, we're going to jump right into the video, but as you guys know that I have two daughters, Kayla and Kylie. Kayla is 19, Kylie is 8. And I've been pretty much, you know, raising them, shoot, since they were born, you know, just taking care of them and making sure that they're good and providing for them and everything else that kind of comes into place with motherhood, parenting, and all that good stuff. Um, and I want to kind of send a message to my daughters to let them know, one, I love you guys so much. Um, without you guys, I don't know what I'll be doing or whether, or if I would be in the city that I'm in. Um, but I'm here, I'm here for a reason and I'm here to just be the best mother that I could possibly be for you guys. Um, I might not always get things right when it comes to parenting, but I know that I'm trying my hardest, you know, and I want you guys to grow up and I want you guys to know that you guys deserve the world. You know, you guys are super special to me. You guys are definitely in my heart and in my mind every day when I wake up and when I go to bed. Um, and I'm sure, you know, um, hopefully you guys know that, but I know that as you guys get older, you guys are going to start dating and I want you guys to be with somebody that you guys genuinely love and they genuinely, genuinely love you guys as well. Um, mom has been through a lot. I have been through a lot. I have been through so many difficult times with guys um, and I got through it. I got past it. It was tough. It was hard. I cried a little bit. Um, you know, I was happy at times. Um, I just, I just went through a lot and a lot of that stuff I don't want you guys to go through because you guys are very precious and you guys should know that disrespect of any kind should never be accepted walk away from any disrespect that you guys um also come across and i don't want to i don't want to um just focus on my daughters i also want to 
focused on my bonus daughters. I have two bonus daughters and they are nine and 11, Charlize and Carla, and they are very special to me as well. And I don't want you guys to go through any negativity because you guys deserve the world. Y'all special. You guys deserve to be treated respectfully. Um, and it kind of brings, it kind of brings tears to my eyes because I don't want y'all to ever go through any of the stuff that women and, you know, um, early on in life that my generation is going through because you guys don't deserve that. You know, you guys deserve someone to treat you like a queen because you guys all are queens you guys um deserve a guy to listen you guys deserve a guy to be there mentally physically emotionally financially all that good stuff um and if you guys feel that that is not happening please please just do me a big favor as your mother, as your bonus mom, to make sure that you guys walk away. Because there are so many women in this world that have, that don't walk away from things and they stay in things thinking that everything is going to be better. I have been subject to that and I don't want you guys to go through that, you know. Um... I am trying to make better decisions uh, because I am surrounded by you guys, you know, to to teach you guys right from wrong. You know, I love you all so much and I want and I really hope that this message got through to you because it's not just relationships. I don't want you guys to be. I don't, hold on one second. Sorry about that. I don't want you guys to be uh, abused in friendships, uh, family, relationships, because there are a lot of people out here that will try to disrespect you or hurt you and everything of that nature and it's not worth it it's really not worth it and there are people out there that's going to be like oh they love you and most of the time it's either you know they're trying to take something or get something from you so don't don't believe it not saying that everybody that says that they love you are trying to because there are good people out here and there are bad people out here. I would just would I would want you all to weed out the good and the bad people because like I said, you guys definitely deserve it. You guys are queens and you guys will at some point, you know, get to a point where you have to deal with negativity um, around other people, you know, and my take on that is it's better to remove people out of your life opposed to holding on to people that's not worth your time, your energy, your mental state, and all that, you know. Um, but I hope you guys do watch this video and do get an understanding. I hope that I am being a really good example um, and from bringing into the new year, I will try to be a good example and I will make sure that I do my best even if I fall on hard times trying to make or trying to get you guys to understand the ins and outs of life so I do hope you guys enjoy this video I hope you guys see this video 
and just feel genuinely that I love you guys, that I want the best for you all. And I hope that, um, you know, we can keep things going and you guys continue to learn from me. And you guys can also teach me things as a mom because it's very hard and there's no rule book to any of this. But with all that being said, I'm going to end the video here. I love you girls, all of my daughters. And and I really do hope that this video taught you guys something. Um, Kylie, babe, you might not understand but the older girls may get a little inkling of what I'm trying to, you know, go or get at in this video. But again, I love you guys and I definitely hope to see you guys next year. I hope everybody has a safe holiday and definitely have just a great great new year's eve you know around family people that you love and um yeah so we're signing out i want you guys to give this video a thumbs up and also hit that notification bell and um i'll see you guys in our next video and i will be a little bit more upbeat it's just that this video took me to a place of sadness because of how i feel about my daughters and how much I want them to understand that they deserve the world all around the board. But all right, guys, we're signing out. I love you guys so much. And um, I will see you guys next year. Kisses to you all. Have a good New Year's. Peace. <laughs>